I don't know. I don't I don't think I can do it, son. I mean, we already have two. Yeah, we got two keepers. I'm not going to take a 20-incher home. These are the breeders, and this is what's going to put more fish back inside the water, so... Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, welcome to MDLR Fishing. We're trying to see what the night bite for speckled trout is going to be like. We're at the Surfside Jetty in Freeport, Texas, beating that Texas heat. And guess what? We're going to do this without the use of live bait. All the shops were closed by the time we got out here. We had some truck problems, but we are here. We're going to stay hopeful. Play the numbers game by making a million casts with paddle tails and what other artificial lures that we brought out with us. So let's see what happens. These gnats are like flying all over me. The gnats, yeah. You know, I think I'm gonna downsize before I even get knee deep into casting and everything. I'm just gonna downsize. Holy cow. So, I mean, we need those drop lights so that everybody can see what we're doing, but the flip side to that is all these gnats. That's just because the wind is non-existent. There we are. I made that guy jump. I think he's gonna be 16, maybe 15. Shut that mouth. Oh no, 14. We'll get this guy back inside the water. It's awesome that the bite has established itself because we first got here was not much of anything going on then all of a sudden christian just broke loose caught two fish one was a nice 17 incher and then the other one that he caught got to the rocks and then he basically jumped off and so here we go i got quite a few of these kai techs all i'm trying to do is just get them out of the office got I think we had like three or four packs that I had bought. Good to get some use out of them. Main reason why I stopped using them was because they were so weak and one fish or one lure, one fish, that was about the norm. And that just proves it right there. That speckled trout that we just got lucky enough to catch. Let's see if we can turn that luck into some skill <laughs> maybe we catch a, uh, a keeper the rain look at that I don't know if the GoPro is picking it up but quite a bit of drizzle we've been having that on and off this is like left and right There we are. I just that's another little dink that we got right there. All right, buddy. It's going to be another
All right, well, I just got had by GoPro two times in a row, two catches, but this one right here is an actual keeper and uh, the strongest fighting fish so far of the evening for me. And a uh, nice 18 inch speckled trout that we're gonna be able to take home. Christian's got him one, I got me one. Everything else is gonna be icing on the cake. Just gotta remove the innards and then it's gonna go on the ice. Put our kit away. Here we go. Let's see if we can run that back up with another solid catch. I knew immediately, just by the weight. Casting right on the outskirts, right at the very edge of the light. Just letting it go down, twitching it, letting it sink down, twitching it. I'm flirting with disaster, y'all. I mean, there's a lot of rocks down there. Christian's already got snagged once and I'm, I don't want to have to get snagged and have to retie a leader or anything like that, but they're right there at the at the rocks where the drop is. And I'm just kind of like casting it, letting it pendulum down back towards me and just uh, hoping and praying that I don't get snagged in the rocks, but I come close enough in contact with them that we're able to get that bite super lightweight it's taking it forever just to get through the water column plus we're using 20 pound fluorocarbon oh look at that finally got snagged i knew before too long it was going to happen to me You ain't trying to get stuck. You ain't trying to catch fish. They're always going to be right there by that structure. And when you start flirting with disaster, man, bad things happen. But then good things happen too. And then bad things happen because the GoPro doesn't want to capture the footage. There's like a 50-50 chance whenever you realize that the GoPro started glitching. And then... When you go to check your footage, you're like, oh man, I just got had by the big green weenie. There's a very light weight jig head right there. I think it's the one it's a uh, 1 15th or a 1 10th ounce, one or the other. I'm not too sure which one it is. Both me and Christian have started using these. It's getting the bite. We gotta hurry up and make some magic happen because the rain and the winds are starting to pick up. I was telling him none of this was forecasted. We have not been able to trust the uh, local weatherman lately. Just been horrible. All righty. Check the radar, y'all. All right. All the bad stuff is still offshore. We'll continuously watch it, though. So we're good right now, son. Radar shows that we're good. we go that's a good one
That's another good one right there, y'all. I hope the camera is gonna get this fat girl. Here we go. Whoo, my gosh. That's probably a 20. Yeah, it's a 20. It's going home. I know. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I can do it, son. That sounded horrible. <laughs> that right there, y'all. Oh my gosh! I'm just so grateful to be able to catch such a magnificent fish thought about taking her home but yeah those are the breeders and amazingly she didn't rip my plastic did you hear how glitchy the the lose was it sounded horrible I just need to break down and buy a a, uh, a 1000 series that like from Shimano or something. Can I can you put your hat away and I can take your uh, lens thingy off and put it on mine? Y'all, we're gonna do a little bit of micro surgery for the GoPro. My little cap, the lens on my GoPro fell off on both of mine. I bought some lens caps, but they're the ND filters. And so, look at that, sunglasses for the GoPro whenever I'm fishing during the day. But this right here will not allow me to see anything that's going on, so. I had to take it off and, well, I was about to show y'all, but I really can't show you anything. I'm gonna take this off of Christian's and then put his away. There we go. I need this clear lens right there. That's what I need, put that there. Put his camera away so that we don't mess that up. Drizzling big time out here. we go that's a big one never mind it only fought like a big one I think I'm snagged oh man yeah that's, that's hideous I hope I didn't waste a uh, plastic on this boy they got a they got a lot of like umph behind them no nah, I'm not keeping this I thought I really had a big one a big fat juicy one. Oh dang. There's a little fella, but whoo, he hit it hard. No, that's a keeper, son. Yeah, baby. 15 on the money. Uh, I don't know, actually. You get them to stop squirming around. Yeah, he's 15 on the money. Pinch tail. Dang, he's 15 right on the dot. Yeah. 
I'm not going to keep this guy. He's a keeper. But the minute that I, you know, gut him and everything, he's going to shrink. A little fatty. All right. How many more plastics do we got? Because that fella just ruined the one that we were using. Look at that, right there. Put inside our trash pile. We got three more. Three more shots at catching another keeper or two, maybe even three. You know, I'm always so cautious about keeping those 15s like right on the money. I'm pretty sure any game warden out there is going to give you a quarter inch leeway because they know that the, the fish will shrink in captivity when they get on ice. Oh yeah. <laughs> that guy went airborne. Army Rangers, man. Yeah, this is a little 14. I'm not even gonna throw them on the board. Gosh, they're so rambunctious at, at this size. Just trying to help you out, dude. Not trying to ruin your slime or anything. Yeah, it's a male grunting away. Y'all, the night's gonna come to a very quick close. It's not because of the lures. Uh, we've got other plastics that we can use, but the rain, I don't want to ruin the GoPros and then also the lights, the generator. And as the hours go by, it's our forecast is supposed to get a little bit worse. This drizzle has not let up. I have zero idea as far as like the GoPro, the footage that it's capturing, if it's gonna be blurry or not because of all the rain. Oh, look at that right there. Got him right up against the rocks. That is a keeper. Oh my gosh, the last 15 minutes we make it happen. I think he just busted my hook. Oh yeah, he did. We gotta get our hook back. Give me that back, bro. To retie that. Let's see what we're dealing with. 16, 15 and a half. Shut your mouth, bro. Shut your mouth, dude. Chick, I need you to shut your mouth. Got to be a female trout. <laughs> Not because she doesn't want to shut her mouth, but because she ain't grunting. 15 and three quarters of an inch. That is another one going home. Let's hurry up and put her out of her misery. Here we are. All right. Next thing. Spinal tap. That is four keepers on the evening too. We have been very fortunate. So the fish is already dead. We're just, again, severing all the nerve endings. And then last but not least, somewhat bleed it out. I prefer to have it inside the water to do this portion of the job, but sometimes you just can't make that happen. So there we go. Just let that, that girl bleed out really quick. See if we can get this last one, y'all. You're wrapping things up, heading on home, get a little bit of rest, get all this fish slime off of me. It's a good feeling though. A 
<laughs> look at that. Oh my gosh, I don't think it's gonna be a keeper, but right there. Please don't, no, he done whacked our lure. Yeah, he's not gonna be a keeper. 14 inch speckled trout. And it's a male, tiny little turd. Well, we end on a good note though, with a catch, rather than like a ribbon fish that ruins our plastic. I'd rather one of these guys do it and they get to learn in the process. Don't bite the plastics, bro. Don't bite the plastics. Okay, mister. There you go, buddy. He's spitting out his bait on the way down. We're gonna wrap things up, get all of this stuff put away, and I'll see y'all back at the house. take one of these fillets of speckled trout, cube it up, and make a stuffing. The remainder of them are gonna be vacuum sealed with the Weston, and uh, we're gonna give it away to family. But uh, check this out. I've got some homemade Mexican rice from the other day, so we're gonna use that as the base of the stuffing. And then on the side, we've got a fresh pot of homemade beans right there. There's a lot of bacon inside it, so the pork flavor is gonna go really good with that and once the stuffing is done we're going to put them inside these poblano peppers into a 400 degree oven for approximately 20 minutes we will keep an eye on it from the 10 to 20 minute mark just to see if it looks like it's ready to come out because speckled trout is such a delicate fish and i don't want to overcook it one tablespoon of butter throw our shallots in there tomato, jalapeno, garlic, and last but not least, the cilantro. Cut the heat, throw some sea salt in there. It's just a small pinch of black pepper, fresh cracked. All right, let's get the cumin. Nice little pinch right there, sprinkle it throughout. And let's throw our rice inside there, thoroughly mix it up. Kind of hoping for the best with these leftovers that we had. That's the beauty of catching yourself some fresh seafood, whatever you got inside the kitchen. Don't be afraid to use it, just get creative and I mean, that's what I always do for the majority of all my dishes. I know I've done stuffed peppers in the past, but I think it was like a bell pepper, and I rarely ever write down what it is that I'm doing as far as the process and how much of each ingredient. So I have to sometimes look back on my videos and uh, see what it is that I did. And uh, yeah, so anyhow, let's go ahead and do a very quick taste test. Oh wow, that rice is really good. <clears throat> Very spicy too. Now we're just gonna add our speckled trout inside there. It's gonna start probably cooking because the pan is still hot. But that doesn't matter because we're getting ready to just stuff those peppers and get them back in there. I probably should have used two of the fillets. Um, yeah, my dad has been wanting some fish for the longest time. So rather than use one whole fish, I thought the stuffing would be able to get us a long way, but it doesn't look like that. Take our pepper, open it up, get that seed out of there. I try to stuff these as much as I possibly can because we got a lot of food, a lot of stuffing. 
Holy moly, just stuffed with a whole mess of goodness. If y'all could taste this rice, it's really amazing. That's gonna help to season that speckled trout. I didn't put no salt on the trout at all. Everything else, like all the entire dish itself, the stuffing already has a lot of seasoning, natural seasoning from all the ingredients that we decided to use. Let me get that inside there. All right, check that out right there. Nice Southwest dish in the making. Let's get her in the oven. Timer for about 20 minutes. It's been in there for 10 minutes already. We're gonna pull it out, check it out. Wanna try to find a piece of fish. Here we are. About five, five, maybe 10 more minutes. Man, that cheese is gonna melt. It's gonna be hard to get off. I should have layered, <laughs> lined this with some aluminum foil. But those five minutes are up. Let's bring it out, see what it's gonna look like. Yeah, I think we're done. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. We go. <laughs> I'm trying to act like I got a turntable. Yeah, it just came out of the oven. Uh, it's spicy because it's got jalapeno in it. I used our leftover Mexican rice from the pork chops and the braised pork chops and rice. Hmm? Speckled trout that we caught at the jetty. It is really spicy. I use, <clears throat> yeah, I used a whole jalapeno. You like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it's good too. I'm over here sweating now. I'm hot from cooking and the spice though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's spicy, huh? Bring the camera in. <clears throat> wow, that is super spicy. I think I'm gonna put this one on a recipe card, but I'm gonna subtract a, <clears throat> a whole jalapeno and we're gonna do half of one if we go with the same amount. Holy cow, this is very spicy. I didn't think the jalapeno would do that. really is one of the better ways to enjoy the fruits of your labor. Fresh caught fish, fresh cooked, fresh ingredients, everything fresh. And it shows in the taste factor. But that's gonna do it for this one. Thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoy the content that I create, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until next time, tight lines, y'all.